name is Anwar Misselmani. I am oil painting artist. I was born in Tunisia, in a small, in a second city of Tunis, which is Fax, 1950, uh, June 5th, which is a, a great date. I think I am turning to be 70 in a few days. I belong to a, a, a very loving family uh, with uh, a mom and dad. My mom was a unique girl in her family, Qallel, and my dad was uh, the only boy with three girls. And both of them, they had 12 kids. And I was <laughs> number nine. When I was a kid, I really discovered art in the dictionary. I love dictionaries. So I was seeing all these big dictionaries with photos and I s saw some painting, some not really photography, but I said, oh, this is very nice. And I started, I think I, I, I was nine or something like that. And that, from that day, I started to draw my teachers and my friends in the school and uh, everybody was uh, really appreciating, oh yes, it, it looks like. And I said, oh. So they gave me some, some confidence in drawing and drawing and gradually I find myself in my room drawing all the day. When you see my friends uh, uh, call me, hey, let's go play soccer. I said, I'm sorry, I cannot go. I don't want to play with these kids. I want to stay with my white paper and pencils and colors and I was doing anything everything all the day my friends are brushing their mathematics science books their homework and i was just doing playing with my pencils and i did you did your jobs your your homework and i said yes it's done actually i did it i was drawing and that's how I discovered in my city that there is a club uh, at the Maison des Jeunes. It's uh, uh, like YMCA in the US, you know, uh, where you have many ateliers, many studios, uh, music, visual arts, electronics, etc. And I joined that club very, uh, very scared about what other people will see first time I will draw in, the, in, in, in an atelier, in a studio, and everybody. I was curious how the other, they, they draw, and I find myself, I am okay. Uh, the teacher, Alulu, who passed away just 10 years ago, 10 years ago, yes. And I <clears throat> really uh, gave me the start and some confidence that I can draw with many other people and that my drawings were among the, the one they choose in some, in, in some competition, if you want, or some uh, small exhibitions in the Salle de Théâtre de Sfax, you know. The th story later that I was when everybody asked me what do you want to be I said I want to be a teacher you know then after I want to be an artist I want to be like Van Gogh Picasso or you know Giacometti that's the names at the time Paul Klee that's the name that we started to know about them in the atelier and uh, Alulu brought us a lot of books we started to read about and see their, their art. So this is the environment where I was born. Uh, it's a, a country like Tunisia, you know, uh, it's uh, uh, visited already by, by many artists like Paul Klee, etc. That they call it the country of sun. And we had plenty of sun and uh, all the ateliers are, we draw in the, in the, in the light of the sun and that's why uh, it was really uh, very, very uh, uh, quite uh, gifted.
to be born in that city with a, a lovely family. We have a sense of family. We have uh, in Tunisia, you have hospitality, but also you have a sense of the family gathering. Then after Tunisia, I went to Paris and I joined the art L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts, the art school, fine art school of Paris, which is the prestigious one, and uh, that was my goal to enter there. But before that, I have to explain that I had uh, the first prize in Seuss in 1968, the Arabic calligraphy. And then uh, during uh, the last exhibition of the club, of Alulu Club, if you want, uh, I had the prize of uh, the city of Sfax, which was uh, consisting of visiting Paris, I think, for two weeks. And uh, it was sponsored by Lions Club, I think, at the time. Lions Club of Sfax is... Uh, one of the very active one in Africa. Imagine Lions Club in 1969, you know. And then they sent me summertime in Paris and I discovered with uh, thanks to the Lions Club of Place Vendôme in Paris. And they, uh, they guided me to the Louvre, to uh, uh, at the time, there was no uh, Orsay, but there was uh, L'Orangerie. Then after uh, Versailles, every day, there is a program. But also, I visit a few ateliers, a few artists that they were introduced to me by these members, because they are, most of them, they are art collectors. And one of them later become one of my collectors, Mr. Dirk de Smith. The experience visiting Paris was uh, a, a very important uh, event in my life because it's opened me exactly what I dreamed of. Versailles, uh, La, Rue de, La Rue de Seine, La Rue des Beaux-Arts, these places were at that time most of the galleries. Uh, there also Rue de Matignon, but that Galleries are really commercial and are promoting already noon artists like uh, Chagall, like Picasso. Some of are very, very commercial, but uh, was not very much interested to me. Uh, even though I have no the, I was a little bit shy to enter to these galleries where you have some guardmen in front of that. I said, oh, just window shopping. <laughs> When I decided to join any art school, I thought about L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts, and then I went there during my stay, and I got the uh, application form, etc. Then the next year, I just applied and I passed the jury. There is small examination at that time. We, uh, in our generation, you need to pass through a jury, and that's one written uh, examination just to find out what is your level. Then I, next year, in, in September, I crossed the Mediterranean Sea. And actually, I went to the art book, L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts de Tunis, of Tunis. I made my entrance, paperwork, they gave me the card. But afternoon, I changed my mind when I saw it is not really the atmosphere, I love it. Then just I went to the travel agent and said, do you have any boat or airplane going to, to Marseille or to Paris? They said, oh, tomorrow we have one boat going to Marseille. I said, okay, give me a ticket. I took the ticket. Another time there is no visa required, etc. And then I find myself in Marseille. Immediately I went to the highway and I hitchhiked with my bag and and I have to bring with me a few paintings. Then I hitchhiked. I spent maybe three days to arrive to Paris with my... And sometimes I was stopped by the police, uh, you know, motor in, on the entrance of the highway. At that time, there was, I think, a theft happened in, in uh, Louvre. And they said, oh, 
by Toki Walkie, they said, we find an artist, they have, he has some artwork, we will check it out. What artist, what's the dimension? Then what they saw, my small artist said, okay, this is not the case. <laughs> and they just left, left me. I joined art school, I went to two ateliers, because in, in Ecole de Beaux-Arts you have to go to choose two, two teachers. One for drawing, because this basics, and one for painting, which is uh, uh, Saint-Gier. But I still recall when I went through the jury uh, entrance, when they saw my painting, they said, oh, you are already artist, we have nothing to teach you more. I said, no, no, please, I want to join because whatever you saw here, just a hard work of maybe three, four years, I want to, to be an artist. And they said, okay, uh, you are accepted. That told me uh, uh, verbally. And I, after that, I find, after one week, I find my name on the billboard saying that I'm accepted. I was maybe number three or number four, but I was re really happy to to go in there. During the 70s, the movement of arts are, you have to put it into the, the frame of that area where, where abstracts was dominant. Figurative was really uh, if you draw any realistic, figurative art, they, it's not really acceptable in many, many galleries, in many, many, even the critics were going into that movement, you know. But of course, uh, when I was in Tunisia, in the club, my drawing was, uh, I have to do the uh, steel drawing, you know, uh, nature morte. We had, uh, we had a model, a man, that we have to draw all this. We have to, to do the basics. And L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts also, it's basics. We have to do the basics because we have every day, the morning session, at least three uh, days a week that we have to draw about four hours every day. We have models, men and women, and that is a bunch of uh, drawing every day big maybe three to two hundred drawing and we draw we draw we draw this is this is basic then you have uh, painting with uh, with uh, Saint-Gier and Saint-Gier atelier same like Young Kell and same like uh, Chaplain Midi etc this is the famous uh, art, uh, atelier there almost everybody is drawing expressionism uh, abstracts uh, you have to uh, you have to make your composition, your structure, you have to draw uh, with the tonalities, with your personality, and the teacher has just few really interference, just telling you this is not equilibrium, this is not finished, when maybe, oh, stop it, if that's good, you know. So at that time, my, my, I was bit, I start with figurative, but I made it abstract, more or less. Gradually, I think the third, the, from the third year, uh, my style of uh, of graduation, I take, for instance, a window from my room, and I see Paris with these colors, like Paul Klee, because I was I love that what his work, but not really that. But there is in Paris we have no lot lot of lights, you know. But I went also to the Louvre and we have to copy one of the Delacroix. I choose Delacroix picture. I don't know where this is about, this art, you know, because I was every time traveling. And I maybe have a few painting in at my friend's place because I was moving from one studio to another in Paris because we were a, a, a poor artist, you know and we have to go to the cheapest studio or sometime I left in my friend's place two or three painting. I don't know him anymore, where, whereabouts. Then uh, the, the, the overall uh, uh, scenery in Paris about art was 
uh, at that time, I think something now doesn't exist, that all the three bars and cafe, we meet all teachers, students from morning to evening, and we have such discussion, uh, wonderful uh, uh, interaction about art, about uh, production, about uh, what's happening in the uh, world of critics or world of uh, of study the new movement because we were stuck after impressionism, expressionism. Uh, you know, we have new realities coming from USA. You know, we had uh, uh, some pop arts coming, some advertiser uh, who was working on paper become an artist like Andy Warhol because we never thought that Andy Warhol he is an artist at the time and nobody cared about him. So. This the journey of almost uh, of three years. 1973, I got my diploma, uh, and I had my I think second exhibition because the first one is the Oriental Gallery near the uh, near the uh, behind the Parliament of Paris, and the second one just when I got my diploma, uh, all the students who got the diploma can exhibit in l'Ecole des Beaux Arts galleries just in front of Rue de Beaux-Arts, which now it becomes Galerie Course. Course Gallery, which is open for the students and uh, for any student in, in Paris. This is my journey to, uh, to introduce my, myself. And uh, from that time, I went back to Tunisia. I taught one year as a drawing teacher, uh, professor de dessin. Uh, au lycée Omran, Omran uh, which is Omran High School. After I taught in Tunisia one year, it was uh, very good. I love teaching. I really love teaching arts or love teaching anything. And I, I was impressed by the kids in Tunisia. I was teaching only one hour a week for about 600 girls in a, a high school for girls. It happened that I wanted to come back to Paris because I want to go more studies, more uh, maybe master degree, but uh, I don't really believe in master degree in art or in PhD in art because art is not science uh, 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 subject. It's, it's, a, it's everything about a new language, universal language that you have to develop that whether a Japanese, uh, an American or German or Tunisian or Moroccan or anybody just sees it, oh, I can feel something, uh, I like it, or maybe I don't like it, but this is depending on the background of each of us. We have not the same uh, background and the same, uh, uh, same uh, cultural uh, uh, luggage because we need to have we since we are born until we are adult we go through this cultural uh, income uh, input uh, directly or indirectly and that uh, cultural uh, uh, input give you the sense of developing your own language on the canvas especially that we call visual art visual art does mean anything that the eye can appreciate or not so this is my journey to uh, france france where i it was a good experience uh, i spent uh, almost five years six years in paris then by chance it happened that 1977 i find myself in tokyo Uh, my experience in Japan is that I, I was uh, very much interested by the calligraphy, about their, uh, their uh, artist on the print, wood, uh, wood cut uh, prints, which is uh, very, very interesting because Japanese has a, a paper tradition. And the paper, rice paper, is very, very famous in Japan. And they work the paper just like really a beauty of uh, 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 artwork itself. 
and then uh, the brush in big dimensions and that spirituality that they put on into uh, 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 writing the calligraphy. The, the calligraphy has to be the, the expression of your your feeling, your 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 immediate intensity of your uh, thinking and what your output on the on the paper with this uh, with this um, large brush, and it's like ceremonial. You have to put your own uh, kimono, etc. That's very impressive. Of course. My style is a little bit different because I use, when I came to Japan, I used these colors, primary colors and shocking. In Japan, here the artists, they work uh, grays and, and, uh, and they go into very impressionism or very uh, uh, lighted, light colors. Instead of, uh, uh, on the opposite, I use uh, uh, primary colors with uh, different forms and that's why it's even if I draw uh, Mount Fuji, my Mount Fuji is different from the Japanese, uh, the Hanga, or they, they use these pink, very, very light things. My colors are a strong blue, strong red, and I want to, to give such uh, uh, warm to my uh, paintings. I tried to, to, to learn the uh, Japanese kanji and I can read about 500 out uh, of three, four, five thousand. But I think that this is um, for me a chance. Imagine Tunisia uh, with this cultural Arabic Islamic uh, uh, culture and then you go to Paris with this uh, Christian uh, uh, heritage because you have to know that the visual art in uh, Europe started in the churches. We, we, we have to decorate the churches. So what we call the Occidental Western art, visual art, alas, the Oriental art, which is on paper, which is drawing with the powders of nature, of uh, uh, herbs, and uh, we find the colors in the in the stones, in the mountains, and etc. So these, imagine, uh, I have to absorb these three, three culture and I have to be myself, first of all. And uh, during all these years, what I did is just to uh, uh, cultivate my own language because art, for me, is the expression, is the language, the universal language uh, that uh, uh, you, everybody can read it, can speak it, and that's why I choose the path in my life to be a painting a artist. Now I do have about a few hundreds of uh, oil paintings and work uh, between uh, Japan and uh, France, Paris, uh, Saint Germain en Laye, where I have my the other atelier, and uh, the, the the I do oil paintings in Japan, and I do acrylics in Paris, because in Paris the Trebantine uh, odor smell is uh, annoying my family. <laughs> that, that's why I prefer to do the... Uh, in Paris now I am going into another creation, uh, very active, and that the oil painting that I am preparing for my next exhibition are, I think, a turning point in my, uh, in my art. Why? Because I did a lot of... Uh, Lot of study on uh, calligraphies and on uh, many uh, projects in terms of abstraction and abstract expressionism if you want to have uh, an idea but I will show you later on uh, if you want. Uh, okay. <laughs>